Well, I wanted to get this recorded before I forget it. Um, this is a dream uh, that I had early this morning, September 23rd. And it's pretty gross, but um, the beginnings of the dream, I'm not going to go over that so much, but um, it's this one part of the dream where, um, excuse me, <laughs> my body's kind of fighting something, but maybe it's good. Maybe it's something that needed to work itself out of my body. Um, in this dream, um, at the point that I'm going to start, I, I guess I come home to this, I don't know, it's like a bedroom and a bathroom, you know, not mine. And I go in the bathroom and... It's just kind of tile walls and, you know, big mirror, you know, kind of that kind of thing. Nothing outstanding, nothing, pretty empty bathroom. And, um, excuse me. Um, I first pull something out of my, I don't know if it's out of my lip or mouth or my nose. It's like a worm thingy. I can't remember that part as well. And, um. I had actually, in the last couple of years, I'd had a couple of dreams that like I would be pulling, you know, a worm out of my skin or out of my eye even, I think. And I was like, wow, would anybody believe this? You know, would my eye doctor believe this? So, you know, I'd had a couple of dreams like that before and it wasn't painful or anything. Um, but this time, you know, I'm, I don't remember where I pulled the first thing out of, I, I my nose, my, I, don't, I don't remember, but then it's my right ear, like about the size of a quarter in circumference, and I start pulling, and it's like this whitish, it's alive, it's like this whitish color, I might add some pink in it, I don't know, but kind of whitish, opal -y color, I don't know, shiny, whatever, segmented, like I don't know what it was, you know, like segmented, you know, like with like intestines are, you know, and I keep pulling and, you know, obviously my ear is not the size of a quarter, the entry to my ear, but this was, and it's not hurting, but I keep pulling and I'm pulling carefully because I don't want anything to break off and stay there. And, um, I keep pulling and pulling and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I keep pulling and pulling and, by the time it comes out completely, I mean, that thing is probably 24 inches. I don't know. Two feet. I'm not sure. Two feet or a little less. And, and I lay it down, kind of coil it up. And <laughs> I'm kind of like, wow, you know, but I'm kind of like, well, okay. You know, hoping that thing is out, whatever it is, and there's no more. And how did that get in there? And at the last little part of it is this little... You know those little packets like when you buy vitamins that um, keep your um, vitamins fresh or whatever, the little desiccated, pack, desiccated packets or whatever, you know, the little square packets that keep freshness. Well, at the end, there's one of these. And on it, it says something like, it's for two purposes. One of them, I don't remember what it was, or the other purpose is like it's seeds and it's seeds that you disperse to make like birds or eagles. I don't know. Birds or eagles. I don't, I don't know what it was. But it was like these seeds that are supposed to be dispersed to create them in nature. But of course, this was in my ear. And um, I have a lot of, I mean, I hope this was a prophetic dream. And I hope it was a deliverance dream. That, that would be fine with me. Um, you know, there's a couple slants I could put on it, you know, um, obviously it, it could be something that was planted in there a long time ago and grew like something evil or lie from the enemy. Um, you know, a stopping up of my ears from hearing prophetically or, um, whatever, but I kind of am inclined to think more of a liar stronghold or something and because it's so long and developed 
Uh, it's been there a long time. And it's in my right ear. And you know, the Bible with right, right is an important side in the Bible, you know, right hand of authority, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, even in, even in Eastern culture, you know, um, everything is done with the right hand. Um, they don't like left-handed. They don't want their children to be left-handed. And uh, left-handed things you do uh, are considered unclean, things that you would use your left hand for. Um, so, you know, right hand is pretty important. <laughs> you know, he holds my right hand or the right hand of authority, the right the right side of the, he sits on the right side, which actually represents like authority or something. But anyway, so I just had this thing coiled up looking at it and I'm obviously going to go show it to, I'm thinking I got to go show this to my mom and then like take it to a doctor or something, you know, to see what the heck to have them analyze this. But I do think it could be prophetic. It could be a deliverance thing. I don't know, but, um, you know, if it is, I, I'm good with that. I'm really good with that. And, uh, you know, the ones I've had where I'm pulling them out of my eyes, that could be kind of being blind to things. I don't know. But um, I always appreciate prophetic discernment and interpretation along with mine. So that was it. That was the gross dream of this white segmented, I don't even want to call it, I don't know what it was, but it was alive, you know. Diameter about the size of a quarter, probably less than two feet. I just kept pulling and pulling and pulling. So that's really interesting. Okay. There, now now you can go eat lunch. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs>